Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make interactive graphics for your forms just to snazz them up a little bit. So, first step, open Visual Basic, create a new project. I've already done that part. Uh, on your form, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a button, label, picture box, and timer. Okay, so button, I'm just going to change that. Well, no, no I'm not going to change that's text. Uh, the text isn't really important. The label, I'm going to change that one's text to click me. And I'm going to change its font so it's bigger. So you can see what it does. Basically, the uh, the label is going to flash color changes and whatnot. It's going to go hypnotic. The picture box, I'm going to change its size. Oh, no, actually, those are good numbers. So, I'm just going to change its image then. Stretch image, choose image, local resource, import this thing. I'm going to copy and paste two more of those. First one goes on top, above the label. Second one goes down here. Third one. Third one is going to be a different version of the first picture. So, like, you see how I have a white smiley face for it? I'm going to do the black smiley face for the second one, which is picture box three, I believe. Yes. So, put picture box 3 right on top of picture box 2. Double click your form and type in timer1.enabled equals false. And picture box 3.visible equals false. Okay, we're going to code the button now. Go to button one, mouse enter. Button one dot flat style. Oh, oops. Equals to flat style dot flat. That's on the mouse enter event. And on the mouse out, it's going to be, not mouse out, mouse leave, button one dot flat style, if I could spell, equals to flat style dot standard, what that does. Basically, it depresses the button when you have the mouse over it, and it returns the button to normal once you, uh, once the mouse leaves it, like so. Yeah. So, that's an interactive button. Now we're going to show one way of making an interactive picture box. So, picture box one, mouse enter. Type in picture box one dot height equals to, uh, what was it, 55. And picture box one dot width equals to 105. And just copy paste that stuff. Do mouse leave event and change it from 100, 105 to 100 and from 50, 55 to 50. So you've got this. Resizes when you put the mouse over it. Now for picture box two and three. Those two are going to be together since they're right on top of each other. So do a, event, a mouse enter event for picture box two 
and type in picture box 3.visible equals true. Then under picture box 3, do mouse leave. Copy paste this. And change true to false. So it will do this. Oh, I forgot. Under the form 1 loading event, type label 1.visible equals false. So that you won't be able to see it. Right. Now we're going to do a click event for the button. So label one dot visible equals true. Timer one dot enabled equals true. Oh, before that. Label one dot four color equals color black. Why am I doing that? That is because when you do color black as opposed to what do they have? Control text. It's just easier to remember. Okay, so double click your timer and type the following thing. If label one dot four color equals color dot black then label one dot four color equals color dot red else if label one dot four color equals color red then label one dot four color equals color black and let's give this a shot as you can see it flashes so there you go that's four quick ways to make interactive things on your form. Got the button, got the resizing picture box, got the switch visibility picture box, and have the flashing label. Have fun with that. I'm a charge in Malaysia. Bah!